Welcome to Children's Worship at University Christian Church. I'm Reverend Kara Watts, Minister to Children and Families. In the next couple of minutes, we'll review for families, mainly grown-ups, but kids too, the Bible lesson all of our children experienced on Sunday and give you some ideas to make this story and faith a part of your everyday lives. Our scripture can be found in the Gospels of Mark, Matthew, and Luke. Take time to read this text this week with your kids. In this passage, Jesus and his disciples, who are experienced fishermen, are out in their boat when a fierce storm comes up. Their boat's filling with water and they think they're going to drown. Jesus, meanwhile, is sound asleep in the boat. They wake him up and he stops the storm just by saying, silence, be still. The disciples are in awe that Jesus has the power to calm storms. And that's our Bible point. Jesus has power to calm storms. Now, the fear of storms is a very real fear for kids. Your kids may have experienced severe thunderstorms or taken shelter in the hall closet during a tornado warning. All of these experiences can leave us fearful of inclement weather. Kids can relate to all of this. This story of a storm can help us see that all those storms still happen. Jesus has power over storms. Jesus is there even when the storm is raging, just like he was on that boat with the disciples. Think about this with your kids this week. What's the worst storm you've ever been in? How do you feel knowing that Jesus is more powerful than that storm that you experienced? Mark 4.39 says, When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Imagine this story with your kids this week. Build a boat with sofa cushions and act out the story. During bath time, as water is splashing all around, remind kids of the power of Jesus over storms. Invite your family to share the storms they are experiencing. What's hard today? Say a prayer lifting those storms up to God, not knowing how the storms will calm, but being confident knowing that Jesus is there in the midst of it all. And each day, ask your family, how did you see God working today? How did it feel? Have a great week.